Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today we are bringing back the World Tour series and we're going to be bringing episode 2 for you and this episode is going to be the Spruce Mountain Manor. Now the creator of this map here was Rob43215 so big shout out to him and this is an unreal map. It's got so much stuff that I'm going to show you and I'm hopefully going to keep this video roughly around 10 minutes maybe 10 to 15 hopefully for each of these videos but if you guys enjoyed this series, then remember to leave a like on the video. And also subscribe if you are new, and thank you so much if you do. But the things I'm going to be showing you in today's episode is going to be a wooden barn, the large farm that he has. Then we're going to be going to the boat docks and swimming, like a swimming spot. It's a cool little, like, uh, kind of little bay area. It's very cool. Then after that, we have the windmill, pirate ship, the working lighthouse, which I think is probably the best thing on this map is the working lighthouse it's so cool I'll show you it at night and it'll be really cool and then after the working lighthouse we're gonna do the inside the manor we're gonna show you all around Then also here we have a secret room under that fountain that you see to the left of me and also a nice little library in the <clears throat> in the manor that I'm gonna show you so let's get on to this and I'll see you guys at the large farm so see you guys then Alright guys, so I did say large farm accidentally, I meant the wooden barn, and it's pretty cool. This is the wooden barn, and also in here we kind of have like a nice little chicken coop as you can see. We're gonna, just going to hop in here, and of course I'm going to be grabbing these eggs. But it has multi-levels multi to this little um, shack, and it's pretty cool because it's what you would typically see on a barn. You would have the chickens in their own little, um, little pen, and it's pretty cool. So that's, I don't know, I like it. It's kind of built in the mountain and a little kind of hanging off the mountain there. And then in the barn here, if we just look in right here, as you can see, he's got all the types of animals. He's not, he even has some mushrooms, which are really cool. But he has all the animals here, just the typical animals you'd be finding on the, or in a typical world for the Minecraft survival. And then if we just go up here, as you can see, it's just a nice little, I guess, storage area would probably be the best way. I feel like some barns have, like, nice little storage areas. Yeah, so as you can see here, it's kind of the food and everything for all the animals, which is pretty cool. So that's going to be the barn, as you can see, he also has his tools here, he has some wheat so he can feed everyone, I bet you he has some carrots and everything. Very cool, very cool, and then as we go down the pathway here, which I like a lot because he's worked with the land he's been given, it's not like he's, I mean he's probably modded a little, obviously he's had to, to make the pathway, but I mean he's kind of worked with what he's had here, and I think it's very cool. So very cool on this, and I just like it because it's not even lit up a lot where when it hits nighttime, you're just going to be walking around. It's just all lit up and you're safe. It's dark, which I kind of like because it still gives the realism of when it gets nighttime, it's completely dark everywhere. So the next thing we're going to show you here is the large farm that he has. So as you can see, he basically has every single thing that you can be growing. He has his wheat. He has his pumpkins, watermelon, sugar cane. He has all the cocoa pods, which are really cool because he's used the jungle trees, which I believe these are to grow it and everything and I believe the only thing he doesn't have is like the potatoes and carrots and that but I mean that's fine and as you can see here in his little storage area he has every basic farming need you'll uh, basically need for the Minecraft world there so I think that's very cool and then I'm just gonna move on down the pathway I'm just gonna fly here since we don't have to waste some time going on so the next thing I'm gonna show you here is this little area now I really like this little area because it reminds me of just a nice little secret hiding hole place like that only you and a few friends would know about and it's a nice little swimming area here as you can see it's in this little bay area here coming off from the river you have a very nice waterfall coming down from over there very cool you even have a lava waterfall which is pretty cool and this is like a nice little swimming area you can just hop in jump around and you know relax from building and stressing out about surviving in the minecraft world see i think this world would be unreal for like a survival because you could just expand off of what he has already very cool and with these bulk docks here he actually has like a mechanical thing of it where you just click this lever here and then it opens up all these different spots where your boats will be and then you can just pick a boat and head out on your way and um, just go to wherever you want to go next so I think that's very cool cool little redstone thing very nice very nice we have the windmill now if you guys saw the first episode of this series then you guys can tell the windmill that I did and it wasn't the best, but this windmill here is, is amazing. I really like this windmill. It's very cool. It's, you know, it's big. It even has its own little water fall here with the, uh, oh, God, I can't even remember what that is, which is kind of bad by me. But it's very cool. 
and it's, I don't know, it's pretty, it's a simple build, but it's also like very into it. And if we're just going to go into it here, as you can see here, we just have this little viewing area. And if we go through this door here, we have the balcony where you can look out. And there is the, probably the second best thing you could have on this server, which I think is that pirate ship. And we'll go see that next year. But as you can see, we have a 360 degree view of everything around this little windmill here. And it's very cool, very cool, and man, if you could ever, like, if Minecraft ever comes up with something where you can get one of these moving, or if that's even possible now, that's going to be so cool to see, like, that would be unreal. And as you can see, he uses a lot of oak wood here, and he also, I believe these are the redstone lamps that he's been using, so he switches it up from the typical glowstone or just torches, he uses the redstone lamps, which are very cool. So, as you can see, we have the kind of the glowstone that leads out and everything so we have the glowstone coming here you can go to there and right when you look to your left you see this huge pirate ship now it almost gives you a feel that it's like this is what he took in to discover the land and it's like he traveled all this way and then he built what is that and it's 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 just unreal i really love this map it's a very cool map to be doing here and as you can see we have the strategic chamber so as you can see we have basically a world map there we have a nice enchantment table and it gives you that feeling that you're just on the seven seas and you're just traveling everywhere. Very cool. We have nice bookshelves. And he's very detailed with everything he has on this map, which I think is very cool. And then if we just head down this way here, we have our treasury. So this is where you'd be storing all your gold and diamonds and everything that you'll be raiding from other people or even just finding down in the mines. So very detailed here and it's very cool. I love it a lot. This guy really went in on it and it's, it's just amazing what he's done to it. If we come up here then this is where you'll be steering the ship or where you usually would be steering the ship um, but you'd be looking out here and again you kind of get a view you kind of see the thing here if you have the chunks um, higher up I only have eight right now if you have the chunks higher up you'd be seeing that windmill in the distance oh it, it, it's really cool I love this map so much and the next thing we have here is the captain's quarters so this is where the captain of the ship would be planning everything looking on where he wants to travel next who he wants to raid next in this world and he has this nice little sleeping area here. He has his chest. <laughs> I never knew you could do that with flower pots, Percy. I didn't know you could put a cactus in it unless that's just something he did himself. Got nice little bookshelves here. And this, if I was a captain, this is where I would want to be living. This is so nice, so cool. I really like it. So that is the pirate ship. And now on to what I think is the coolest thing on this map. And this is a working lighthouse. Yes, yeah, a working lighthouse. So if we come in here... It's a very, very basic kind of inside, you know, it's hollowed out, nice little spiral staircase with glowstone lighting up the area. And then when we get up here, this is where it gets complicated, at least for me, because I am not good with redstone. And look at how much redstone he has. He has two layers of just this redstone here. I don't get redstone that much. I would have to look up like four videos just to even come remotely close to doing what, I, what this guy has done. But this all powers the redstone lamps down below. And it is so cool because these redstone lamps actually like move around like a lighthouse would, like how the lighthouse goes around in 360 degrees. Okay, come on, hop up there. This is how the freaking thing works. As you can see, the redstone lamps are going around in a circle there. And if I just do a time set night, let's see, there it goes. It gets dark. Look at that. Look how cool that is. That literally, it goes all around, as you can tell here, it goes all around the lighthouse. And some of you guys are probably looking like, oh, that's easy redstone. Whoop, my game accidentally paused there. You guys are probably looking around like this is very easy redstone, but to me, this is amazing. I really like how at night you would just see this going off, and it just kind of avoids any ships who are coming in to watch out for the land and everything. But that is what is around his, like, mansion. Like, we're not even at the main part, and look how much he's done. This is so cool. But I'm actually going to head to the mansion now, and I'll see you guys then. So, see you in just a second. Alright guys, and I am back. And just before we head up to the mansion, I did forget to show you this before. But this is the nice little kennel he has. So, if you guys just see here... Just a nice place where his dogs can sit around. He has dog houses for everyone. Nice little shelter so if it rains they're not getting soaked and they can hide under it. That's very cool but that's just below his main entrance to his 
uh, mansion or manor here so as you can see here there's a nice little fountain and we'll head down into the room that's there that I told you before but we'll head down there at last just because I think that's probably the best thing about this house um, other than like the obviously a lighthouse and that but as you can see it's a very nice and it's not lit up a lot like I said I really like it and I'm on peaceful right now but I'm assuming he's used slabs in that so nothing can really spawn here anyways but look at this this is absolutely huge and it's just it's just a house that everyone would aim for to have in real life. Like, look at this. Snowing, you have views everywhere. You have this giant window looking onto your ship. And if you had your trunks higher, obviously, the um, lighthouse there. But it's very cool. It's a nice little casual sitting area where everybody can just hang out, chill. Look at that. He has a nice little long chair there where you can just sit, maybe read a book if you want. And if we go out here, this is like a nice little area we can come off. And this actually, I can just break this quick here for him. But this here is a nice little waterfall that comes down. And just because he's so high up, it always freezes a lot. But this is very cool. It has waterfalls. And this is the main balcony. You have a glass floor here looking down. And, oh, if you were afraid of heights, this would be terrifying. But I'm actually just going to do time, set, day, and also clear weather. So we don't have this mess. In, or was it weather clear? There you go. So we're just going to change it all to clear here just so we get a nice view again. And look at this view. It is amazing. If you could be able to have high chunks, this would be so cool to see. And it, you could just see everywhere. Like I said, you would have views of a jungle, the waterfalls, the mountains. You would, Just everything would be so cool. And this is basically this little area. Again, nice little kind of dining area almost, I guess. Or a nice little, again, relaxing area. But with this switch here, you can just turn this and it just disappears. Like it would only, if you ever needed it, then you would need it. But other than that, you have this nice little view out this window here. And if you ever have people over, you can just boom, and they could all just sit around there. We're going to come this, come through this little corridor here. And down here, we actually, I haven't even seen this. Oh, the kitchen's down there. Okay, that's cool. I did not even know that. I didn't even check it out. I thought I checked out everything. But this would obviously be like the grand dining room. Like this is huge. You could fit, what is this, almost one, two, three, four, five. 10 people I'm assuming roughly around 10 people around here and I like how what he did here it's like almost like a carpet feeling here and it's very cool and you know what let's go check down at the kitchen now that I just figured out there's a kitchen here too and oh oh my god this is so cool you shut the door oh my god diamond blocks I'm blocks this is one fancy kitchen like damn he's got everything what's this do oh oh <laughs> that just put down the table. Oh my god. That is so cool. What's These ones are just little faucets here, which are cool. Oh, we have the nice little doors. Oh, it's the little freezer that has all the different types of food. Oh, this is really cool. I really like that. I like how it's all me mechanized. Mechanic? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I'm lost of words there. But this is so cool. Oh, I would love working in that kitchen. You'd probably be getting paid a fair buck there just to be working there so that is this main area here I think it's very cool we'll go out on the balcony again and as you can see another great view just amazing but we're just gonna hop up the stairs here I don't feel like well, okay I'll walk anyways because I accidentally hit it anyways but we have nice little bookshelves here and this is the start uh, this is two of the three bedrooms so this is the first bedroom here and I'm not sure if this would be the grand bedroom or the main bedroom uh, but it looks like it definitely could be but I think any of these could really be the grand bedroom but this just the way it's designed I think it really is and oh my god like again with these views it has its own little balcony here like you know you're living the life when you have your own balcony looking out like look at that this is just amazing like oh my god that's so cool so you have the main bedroom here desk area have some bookshelves have the light again a nice little skylight there that's a cheeky skylight right there be beautiful look so we'll head off into the other bedroom here it looks like this bedroom, whoever lives here, has a nice little dog. So again, bookshelves, desk area. And I like this desk area because, again, you have this view looking out at the jungle and the mountains right behind you. Like, oh, this is this is so cool. And again, you could argue that this was the main one, but I still think the first one we saw is. And you have a nice little roof over your head here, double bed, which is always nice. And this balcony actually is even bigger. So this might be the main one. I might be wrong. Um, but this one you're looking over the farm, jungle, oh, the fountain, everything like that is so cool. You have some sitting areas here. Oh, this is this is just, it blows me away what people can do. Like, I think I do decent amount of stuff, but I'm, I'm obviously not even close to what people can do. And look at this huge chandelier just looking over the thing here. 
Oh, like what he's used in. Oh, you can put mushrooms in there too. Man, I really don't know what you could put in those things. But we'll actually go in and show the library quick just before we show off the last bedroom there. And this library is cool. Like you have this nice little sitting area that's right near the balcony of the, or it is the balcony looking down towards the area there. So you can have a nice sit, read your books. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have the area here where you can go back, probably have some stuff here books and everything oh this is it's so cool you have a nice little ladder so you can get up to the top books you know those good reads that you want to be doing sometimes when you want to just take a break from everything in minecraft and then we come up through this little hallway which i think is really cool again windows everywhere which is probably the best thing when you have views like this we're going to come in here and there we go this is the third and final bedroom so as you can see again could argue to be the main bedroom but I think it's either the one that's right across from us or even the one that's looking out the opposite way there but every single one of these bedrooms has a nice little balcony and this one's actually a pretty small balcony you just kinda come out but still you can hop up here and just oh look at this you could just view for miles and miles and just just appreciate what you've done in this world and it's it's amazing it really is so we're just gonna hop back here and the last thing I am gonna show you before the end before I end off this episode here is the I'm actually just gonna fly down because it's a lot faster is the nice little secret um kinda area he has and it's actually right below the fountain here so if you're willing to go for a nice little swim you can hop down here uh, I might have missed that fall down all the way down to the bottom they have the nice little water trick here where you're not gonna take any damage once you fall go through this pretty like old looking nice little thing and there's there is a way up there but I'll show you that after but if we hop down here look at this it's like his little secret laboratory like look at all the emerald blocks he has his nice little lava waterfall water waterfall water waterfall just a waterfall has his nice little villager there he has his cleric where he can trade some stuff he has his nice little enchantment room which just like it goes on for days and I actually went up there and it leads to absolutely nothing I, would, I thought it would have led to something cool but you have your enchanting here where you can enchant basically anything you want. And it's a nice little thing here. And the, it's, it's kind of cool. He has his mushrooms here which you can grow as well. And again with the redstone lamps. He really likes these redstone lamps which I think are really cool. I think they look better than glowstone. But also it depends on the texture pack. I'm just on the default one right now. But and then this little funny thing here which I, I heard all these noises. And I'm like it's not just coming from this dude. I went in this here and look he has prisoners. It's like, he, it's like he just keeps them to torture him or something, and oh my god, it is so cool, and uh, it's, it's just cool to think what you can do with this. And yeah, and then we also have this, which so release the prisoners, and you can release them, and you can let them run around if they aren't, but I'm gonna, oh, one got out, there you go, buddy, you can just, no, you could stay in there, sorry, bud. <laughs> but that is it, and if we just hop up this little staircase here, or sorry, ladder there, and we actually follow this little spiral staircase going all the way up. Uh, let's just, come on. There we go. And we go up this ladder here, up this ladder here. This actually leads to the main little area of the mansion there, or of the manor here. So we're just going to come up here. And it's, it's fair ways up, so you can tell how far he went down. Okay, let's just fly up here. You can tell how far he went down just to get to it. but And then you just, boom. Like, I, I didn't even look at that. I didn't even think of going down that way. But uh, you just pop out, and it's just boom. So as you can see, that was his laboratory. And uh, you just pop up here, and you can just live on your life like nothing ever happened. And then you can boom, boom. Oh, that is so cool. But that is going to be the end of this world. So like I said, the creator was Rob43215. So big shout out to him, and just very, very good job, buddy. This is an unreal map. And the time and effort you put into this must have been amazing. But as you can see, there's the back view of it. And like I said, it's a 360 degree view. No matter which way you want to look out that manner, you can see whatever you want and you're able to see everything. And actually, I didn't even think of showing you guys this. But as you can see here, it's got a nice little, oh, there's his, is this where No, still no carrots or potatoes. But as you can see, it comes from the waterfall, which we were looking at when we were up at the balcony there. And we have this nice little cobblestone, I guess, um, waterfall too as well. But as you can see, the water froze over. And when you're up this high, that's always a problem you'll have. But it's still very, very cool. And yeah, that is going to be the end of this episode. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. And if you did, remember to leave a like. Go download this map for yourself. I think if you played this in a survival world, 
you could just add on and make this even better. And oh my god, like what this guy did is just crazy. But um, yeah, that's going to be it. And this is the second episode. So if you guys really enjoyed it, go download this map. I'll leave the link in the description if I do remember. If not, comment down below and I'll uh, let you know by that way. But if not, I'll have it in the description. Just click on it. Go download this map. Go check out other maps that you guys um, could be interested in. That whole website's got a bunch of maps that you guys can do. And uh, yeah, that is going to be the end of this episode. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, remember to leave a like on the video. Show your support. It means a lot and it's just greatly appreciated. Also, comment down below if you guys see any maps you want me to play or uh, show off in this uh, little series thingy here. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy it, like, comment down below any of those things. And also subscribe if you are new to the channel. And thank you so, so much. The sun is setting. So I think this is a perfect time to end off the episode. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.